Hi everyone, welcome to Drive and Fail July. After the lights we've got a classic merge and turn situation where the road narrows. Which do you think is the last car that's going to force past John, the instructor in front, and his pupil? Do you think it's going to be the grey private hire that's next to me to my right, or the black Ford Fusion that's just pulled up behind that? Was the Citroen even in the reckoning? That's poor. There's a couple of little points with this clip. First of all, I've just had a nosy all the way down the other end of the road. There's a van that's waiting, so I'm not just going to follow the van in front of me. I'm going to hold back and let the other van take its turn. I've found myself doing little things like this a little more since I've got the electric car. I'm in no rush, and honestly, I'd rather have a van on the move and out the way. I can sit still all day without any emissions. But the other point of this clip is one of these. Hands up if you need to get off your phone. Generally, any overtake produces an increased risk, so you should only overtake if it's safe, legal and worth it. This didn't affect me in the slightest, but watch the minibus that comes from behind. And also just imagine if there was a cyclist emerging out of this road on the left through the traffic. Don't. I don't get that. Saved in no time whatsoever, mate. Approaching the T-junction, don't forget if people wish to cross, you should let them go. But I'm not sure this dog was happy with the colour of my car. This junction may be familiar to you, because it's where I've had a taxi jump a red light. And no surprise, it's another one. But then, only a couple of minutes further up the road, the same guy is just walking across the road out in front of us. He's heading to the bank. As you've seen in many of my videos, the driving standards and habits of people around Liverpool are shockingly low. And I'm pretty sure it's similar where you live if you live in a big town or a city. But I'm honestly pretty certain that there's nowhere in the country as bad as Liverpool for pavement parking and, of course, red light jumpers. Do you think where you live is any worse? When the first car stops and then the further cars jump the red light, it's even more dangerous. Everyone's expecting everyone else to be stopping also. Yeah, clutch needs to go down a little earlier than that in sixth. Yeah? Okay, just listen. What is that on there? I love donuts. <laughs> That's actually quite funny. Uh, it's, it's a welcome change, I think. It's usually uh, negative stuff, isn't it? Yeah, quite like that. <laughs> Brilliant. Why not? There's nothing else to report. Let's say it as it is. Do you think it's one of the work he's having a little bit of a, uh, little bit of a chuckle? Yeah. Let's, let's put Got that on for a laugh. <laughs> it's probably something that they wouldn't get a reprimand for. Yeah. It's something a little bit off, uh, off kilter, isn't it? It's like it? drawing bacon, isn't it? And that's not a bad thing. That's why I want to stick with it, mate, because I know you're fantastic at your job. And, well... Oh. Yeah, so, you know, sticking with it. Uh, you know, if, if it can get to your standard. Well, yeah. not your standard, but you know what I mean. Today, 51% of consumers can save up to £319.82. Consumer Intelligence, May 2022, UK only. Capital Travel Update.
I'd like to say well done to the lady in the black Ford for rectifying her mistake. It can be funny sometimes when you do the correct thing and use the left lane to go straight ahead at a dual lane roundabout like this, and people can often assume you're taking the first exit. Be ready in both situations to correct. Then only a little bit further up, we've got the police attending a little bit of a problem at a local pub. But there's still a little bit of a learning point I'd just like to talk about. Even here, leave the junction clear, there's no point blocking it. And the main point is be super vigilant of all the pedestrians. As you can see everyone's crowding around to find out what's going on and that often means they won't be paying attention to the traffic on the road, but it's our job as motorists to look out for these people. As with every scenario, make a good judgement and assessment before you enter into the problem. And here what I was being particularly careful of was the guy in the central reservation taking a video and obviously the lady who's being detained. It doesn't have to be a car accident for you to be guilty of rubbernecking and cause another big problem. Always be really careful. And even with the police officer in front of me not doing the best job at driving, they're obviously preoccupied with the incident, it was still easy enough to read and I was able to progress safely. No worries. See West Derby Road, like close, that's crashed. Yeah, um, it was just two police cars, wasn't it? Yeah, it no was. No one else involved? No, it was just two police cars. But it was like 2 a.m. and apparently they had like, like pedestrians were sort of like pulling the police car off the side. Mm. You did well. Just need to get on, mate. Just need to get. Yeah. Your clutch went down, so. I need to load need to load, load yeah. gear, doesn't it? Yeah, thought you did well there. I wouldn't be going down the opposite side of the road, on no. the road though. No, me not. neither. Me neither. You're a bit close to that one. Yeah, okay. You're taking your position there off the white line. With the space that we had, you should have been on reducing. More. Yeah. Yeah? Mm. Well done with the bike. I thought you actually did. Uh, it was the opposite of the car situation there. Yeah. You, you did a good job of looking at everything. When the bike was there, I thought you did really well, but just keep that with the car. Just because a car's not moving doesn't mean that there's no risk or hazard to it. It's the child running off from behind the car that you need to be thinking of, yeah. not just the danger that affects you. Yeah. That's the key to it. All right? Yeah. I can't remember. It was there we go. Good. Check back. Good. Well done. Nice time for third. Perfect response. Traffic lights, we're going to turn left. on the scooter rider behind you. Well he's staying behind yeah, me. Yeah, so brilliant not. position. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, hey, I was so confused. What the? Good. So I'll give the scooter rider um, the pat on the back for being uh, good for holding back. Did you see what he was uh, using at the lights? My phone. Who sat there looking at his phone? Yeah. I'd be interested to hear everyone's thoughts on this clip. Have a look at the cyclist carrying the dog coming the other way. have a practice at a park especially with a vehicle behind and we've got this road coming up on the left as well. So we'll probably let, miss the opportunity now haven't we? 
Oh, is that the taxi driver? It's a taxi driver. Lethal. Absolutely lethal. Always be mindful of that as well. That that L plate just makes people just want to get back to the street. Yes, the sooner. All right. So the road here. My own little Gandalf corner. That's instantly said to me, it's going to be a more of a problem. What do you reckon? What were they like? They tucked it in quite nicely there as well, yeah. the cyclist, didn't they? Yeah. Yeah. Um, if you haven't got the distance to them, still slow it down in this lane. Okay. Not a problem. Yeah. Um, we couldn't see round that one, so there's only one way to do that corner. It's round the left-hand side of it, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. No questions, no questions whatsoever. Um, Sunny night as well. Um, is it likely that we're probably going to come up to some more cyclists or even motorcyclists? Yeah. 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 Absolutely. So we've got a. Um, well, horses. Horses, yeah. Tractors. Yeah. As soon as I see a cyclist, I was making that obvious with what I was just talking about, yeah. but. <laughs> what did we talk about? I'm sure you planned this. It's crackers. It's crackers, isn't it? Yeah. Absolutely. He was crackers. taking no prisoners, him. Mean, he, he was, was bombing as well. Feel sorry for that cyclist. Yeah, he was bombing. Yeah. There is a gap, isn't there? Yeah. Start creeping now, slowly. Trust me. Creep. Good. Off you go. Squeeze your gas straight to accelerate. Well done. On to it? Yeah. You're not accelerating. You need to go. You've got to learn that. Yeah. You look at your dials as opposed to feeling what your car's doing. Yeah. Yeah. Good. Straight to accelerating, and keep out to the right-hand side. Accelerate more, more, more. Third. You've got to use that right foot more, mate. Yeah. Yeah. That important. Well done. Good. Be careful of the lights. We're through, that's fine. Well done. Good, and now build the speed a little more now, it's clearer again. But what's this one? Is that overtaking? Yeah. Okay, carry on again. I sorted it, mate, don't worry. All I yeah. did, I just pressed the brake a little bit. Yeah. You're at this early stage, so it's totally understandable. Um, it's just a terrible impatient poorly timed overtake by that one mate yeah. all. but that happens unfortunately when you got the, uh, the roof box for this final clip I'd like you to just make sure that even sat at a set of lights you're constantly watching people around because you can pick up on clues on what people are going to do this one in to my right hand side the, uh, the disco What's the betons there going to go straight on with what they've done? Just to get away from that roof box. Evens bet, I think. No right signal. Position slightly to the left hand side in the lane. It'll be interesting when the lights change at the side, whether they start to creep early. Look for all the signs. difficult. 